fly we're going to tie is the Bibio. And this is a very famous Irish lake fly which originated in County Mayo about 50 years ago. It's a, an excellent fly again for teaching fly dressing because it shows you some new techniques and in particular the technique of dubbing on fur on the body. We start again by placing the hook in the vise. And again, once again, we put on a good bed of tying suck. You catch the tying suck in about an eighth of an inch behind the hook eye. And after four or five turns, cut off the loose thread. We now cover the body of the fly with close turns of tying suck. This again forms a good foundation for the materials to be tied in. And we go right down again to a point just in front of the bend of the hook. The first material we tie in here is the oval silver rib. And again, take off about four inches of oval silver and tie them in on the back of the hook shank like that with the furthest side away from you. Tie it in with close even turns like that of tying suck, two or three even turns and then once again tighten up the turns. Once you have the material tied in be it floss or tinsel make your first turns fairly easy and then tighten up and that holds the material securely in place and that's a, a very important point. So you've tied in your rib and then what we do is take the tying suck right down to a position at the bend of the hook. Now we're going to learn how to dub on some fur and what I use is on the video is some black fur and some red fur and these form basically the body of the video. The first piece of fur we put on is some black fur and the secret I think of putting on dubbing is to actually use very very little of it. Where everybody I think at the start is inclined to put on far too much. So what I do at this stage is let some tan silk out, take a small piece of dubbing in my uh, left uh, th uh, thumb and forefinger and then hold it up to the thread like that and spin the dubbing onto the thread by moving your thumb over your forefinger like that in one direction only. Thumb over the forefinger. Don't move it back and forward like that or that undoes uh, and takes the dubbing off again. So thumb over the forefinger in one direction only. And when you've got the four dubbed on, then proceed to wind the four onto the hook shank like that. Now small amounts again is, this, is the secret to dubbing. Just very small amounts. And again, repeat the process. Rub the thumb over the forefinger like that. And slide it down onto the hook shank and wind it on. When I'm winding dubbing on what I do is increase the pressure on the tan silk a bit and that helps the dubbing to take to the hook shank. At that stage we've covered a third of the hook shank with some, with some black dubbing. Now the central part of the bivio is tied with some red dubbing. So we now take the red dubbing like that. Again remember small amounts. Let the tan silk out like that. Hold the dubbing up to the thread and squeeze it. Now you're squeezing it very tightly at this stage. Push the dubbing down and then start winding on the red body like that. Now what you can do with the red body is to build it up. You can actually go back and forward over it like that to build up a sort of a thicker red section to the fly. That's not a problem actually winding back and forward and just building that up. So there you formed a fairly good red section and now we put on another black section here at the at the in front of the red now be careful here that you don't actually t take the black dubbing too far up the hook shank because you've got to tie on two hackles at the front here so we take another piece of black dubbing hold it up to the hook shank and again thumb over the forefinger one direction only now really squeeze this very tight five or six uh, 
sort of sort of uh, squeezes on the on the on the dubbin like that, and, and it and it should take to the tensic fairly easily. Bring that forward, and that forms a front black section to the fly. Now again, have a look at this space when we're tending baby. This is very important. We've got to leave plenty of room, so we've left really about a quarter of an inch here at the front of the fly. We now take a black rooster hackle and again remember there's two hackles on this fly so we take a black rooster hackle and again once again we clear off the section here the soft flue at the bottom so we clear that off evenly on both sides and we tie the hackle in right at the eye of the fly just behind behind the eye and it's tied in here right just there in front of the body like that with one two three turns of time so again don't twist the hackle just push it forward like that gently and then increase the pressure on the bobbin holder to tighten in the four turns at the back and that hackle's tied in securely. Now we're going to wind the hackle down the body of the fly and again for this we use the hackle pliers to catch the tip of the hackle. Catch the tip with the hackle pliers and then wind the hackle around. We take one turn at the front of the fly and then work our way with the hackle down the body. Now because we've tied in a nice red section in the middle here it's it's a uh, we don't need to actually cover it over with black hackle, so try and avoid that. So take one turn of, of uh, hackle just at the front of the red, and then take a sort of a wider sweep that the, the black hackle doesn't cover the red. And go right down towards the bend of the fly like that. Now when we come to the bend, we're literally going to catch in the hackle with the oval silver here. So we take, we hold the tip of the hackle, with a, a, a hackle we hold the hackle pliers in our left thumb and forefinger and then we catch in the tip of the hackle with the oval silver like that. Now it's caught in and then what I do is hold the hackle pliers out of the way and then work my way up the hook shank with the oval silver. Now again work your way back and forward on this like that that uh, you don't catch down any strands of hackle. Keep a fair bit of tension on the oval silver and then work your way back and forward like that. Now, at that stage, just when we bring the, the, the silver tensile up to the front, we we'll take the scissors and cut off the tip of the hackle here. And that really gets it out of the way. Set it down. And then we take our oval silver right up to the front of the hackle. And we tie it in. Again, get used to tying it in with, say, one, two, three turns at the back. And, say three turns at the front and again this is a very secure way when you're just starting to tie flies of tying in the, the, the ribs. Cut off the waist rib and at that stage I like to get the hackle again, the hackle stock cut out of the way. So now we've got the body hackle on and notice the nice bit of room at the eye of the fly here to tie on the, the, the second black hackle. Take the tan silk, just bind down any, over any loose ends, fibres or tinsel, and take your tan silk right up to behind the hook eye. Now we take a, a black uh, hen hackle, and we can just take uh, a hackle, which should be again about the same width as the hackle we used for the body, or maybe slightly, slightly bigger. And again, with the hen hackle, we strip off the flue at the bottom like that just there and strip it off one on each side like that that it's evenly stripped off both sides and again we take the hackle hold it up onto the hook shank like that and tie it in just right behind the eye of the hook again three turns at the front push the hackle over don't twist it just push it gently with your uh, forefinger like that and then tighten up with the tie and suck the back three or four turns even and that holds the hackle securely in place. Now again we 
take the hackle pliers and again catching the tip of the hackle and the tip of the hackle pliers we wind the hackle round the front of the hook shank like that so one and wind it down towards the body hackle three four five i like the front of the bibios to be fairly heavily hackled change hands and hold the hackle pliers in your left hand catch in the tip of the hackle and then work your way through the hackle again in a sort of backwards and forwards motion to prevent the hackle being caught down and you come to the front of the eye of the hook and at that stage cut off the tip of the hackle and cut off the stalk of the hackle and again put your thumb in there hold the tensile out of the way and it's a good way of preventing the, uh, the, the thread being, uh, being uh, cut. Now you're coming to near the end of the tying process. So what I do at this stage is just pu push all the fibres back like that on the bibio. Push all the hackle fibres back and then form the head of the fly. Nice, uh, you know, smooth turns of tying silk like that from the eye of the hook back up towards the hackle. And again, don't, you don't really need too many. All you need uh, is to build up enough tying silk that it holds the hackle fibres sort of back in position like that. And now we come to the final part again. We put a knot on the end of the fly and we do this again with the, the half hitch tool. Take a turn of tying silk around the half hitch tool like that. Set it on over the end. And pull the half hitch of the knot tight. Take another turn round the half hitch tool like that. Set that on. Pull it tight. And a third and final one. Turn right round the half hitch tool like that. Slide that down onto the eye of the hook. Slide it off and pull it tight. And then at this stage we just cut off the tying silk. Like that. And that's your fi nearly finished bibio. All that's left to do is to varnish the, the head of the fly. And we do that as usual with small uh, drop of varnish on the point of the of the of the, the dubbin needle. Like that. And varnish again underneath the eye of the fly. And again that varnish let it dry in for about three minutes and then put on another coat of varnish and uh, that's uh, the finished video.